Hi Libras, this is your bonus love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, Libra, so let's jump into your reading and let's see what the universe has to say for your bonus um, reading for the month. Okay, so the first card that you have is conflict, settling, and betrayal. So I'm picking up the energy, Libras, that some of you are settling in a connection where you're no longer happy. I feel like you've tried to talk to this person, but you feel like you can't get through to them. Um, I'm picking up here for someone. I'm picking up the message that no matter what is going on in the connection, no matter what happens, this person always tries to make it like it's your fault. Or they try to flip and reverse whatever has happened around on you. And I'm picking up the energy that you've been settling in this connection for quite some time. Some of you feel like you're not getting what you want. Um, you don't see this person enough. You feel like they don't really love you. They may not tell you that they love you. Um, and even if you ask this person how they feel about you, they may try to avoid the question. And the reason why it's all happening is because there's betrayal. Okay. Now I'm looking at this betrayal card and there's two serpentine snakes wrapped around the door for door handles and the door is padlocked twice. Okay. So I'm feeling like for some of you, this is a message that this connection may not be good for you. Okay. Um, and that it may be time to get out of it. So the next card that you have is cold. So yeah, so this person could be turning their back on you, being really cold and distant, nonchalant, not talking to you, or maybe talking to you whenever they want. Or when they do talk to you, they have an attitude and they don't call you for a couple of days. I just feel like you're going through a lot right now with someone. And if this is not you feeling this way, Libras, this could be your person feeling this way about you. So flip and reverse the roles as need be. But you're ready for change. I feel like you're looking at the situation like you've been through enough. You learned enough lessons and you're feeling like it's time for you to move on. I feel like there is change coming for you guys um, very, very soon. Okay. This card looks very springish, very summer like to me. So there could be changes coming within the next three to six months. So let's jump into your reading Libras and let's see what else the universe has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for the Libras for this bonus love and relationship reading? I almost said Leo. I feel like some of you are dealing with a Leo here. Spirit, oh, God. Okay, so when I did that, like a thousand cards wanted to fall out. All right, hold on. Let's do this again. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras for this bonus love and relationship reading? Okay, so we have the Hanged Man. Some of you could be done with the Pisces. We have the Queen of Cups, the Four of Wands. So for some of you, this could be a marriage that you're dealing with. I mean, the that you're in. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so there's something that's very burdensome for you. You're tired of putting up with this person's behavior. Um, like I said, for some of you, this could be a marriage. This could be your Twin Flame. Um, I don't know. I sort of see things turning around for some of you. So let's see where this goes, because with the Queen of Cups, I feel like someone is extremely emotional about this connection, but they don't know how to move forward. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Pisces energy as well. Um, but I feel like some of you want to work this out, but you just don't see how you don't see how to do it. Because there's too much drama right now going on. Like something wanted to... Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups here. So for some of you, you could have a family with this person. And you're wishing um, for, you know, fulfillment with this. I feel like you don't want to walk away from this situation, Libras. But this person is giving you no choice. Something is turned in the upright. Okay. Two of Cups. Yeah, so this could be a twin flame soulmate for you. I feel like you and this person, it's like you really love each other. But for some reason, it's hard to get along right now. Now, we are coming to the end of Mercury Retrograde. Actually, today was the last day, but we also have to go through a shadow phase. 
Um, so I feel like for some of you, you're going to try to work on this connection, but you're ready to walk away. So it's like, maybe you'll give it one more try. And if you can't seem to work things out, I feel like some of you are going to walk away from this person. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? My cards are sticking, so something is being stubborn, Libra. So we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, someone wants to come in and offer you love, but um, I feel like they're not coming right now. This person is stubborn. Maybe they want you to come towards them. You know what I'm picking up? The energy that someone wants you to come towards them so they know that you really want this. Yes, yeah, so we have the Temperance and we have the Queen of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This person sees you ready to move on. OK, they see that you're ambitious, you have goals, um, you know, you're doing really well for yourself, but there was an ending here. And I feel like this person expected you to. Maybe when things ended, they expected you to fall apart or something, but you showed them different because with the temperance card, it was like you were really patient with yourself and you're allowing yourself to heal from whatever you're going through and i feel like you're going to be able to balance things out with this temperance card and move forward some of you are dealing with an air sign a libra a gemini or an aquarius um for some of you i'm also picking up leo strongly so some of you are definitely dealing with a leo here so i keep picking that up now we also have the three of wands so like i said i feel like someone is waiting for you and see, they're, they're waiting for you to contact them or they're, it's like they're waiting for you to say something. I feel like this person wants to be with you, but they don't want to be the first to make up, which is very narcissistic. But it's like this person only can see things their way. But I feel like because you maybe threatened this person that you're leaving, maybe they're ready to t come in and talk to you this person is watching you though because you do have the page of swords here okay i don't know if i want to say that they're stalking you right but i do see that they're watching you and you're on this person's mind even if you think that you're not you are it could be an air sign uh such as yourself another libra or a gemini or an aquarius my cards are sticking so bad. Like somebody is so stubborn. I feel like somebody wants to reach out to you and talk to you, Libras, but they're afraid to. They're either afraid that you're going to reject them or that you want to get to the bottom of something that this person did. And it's like they don't want to talk about it. For some of you, um, I did not see a third party card, but I'm picking up third party vibes strongly. Like this person may have cheated. Maybe you found out about it. Maybe you court them with someone from their past because I keep seeing the six of cups. Okay. And the six of cups is reversed. So I feel like your person may be ready to walk away from someone because they feel like they're going to lose you. We also have the ace of cups here. And we have the Page of Cups. So for some of you, it's definitely a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But um, if not, this person, they're ready for a new beginning. I feel like you scared them into this. <laughs> not meaning to. Like, I don't feel like you meant to do it. I don't feel like you were even trying to do it. Because I feel like for some of you, you're ready to walk away from this. But because they know that you're fed up and you're tired and that you're you're sick of settling for second best, it's like um, this person is sort of trying to get themselves together. But I feel like they were dealing with someone from the past and they wouldn't let go of this person or this person wouldn't let them go. They may have allowed this person to sort of run things or have a say so when they shouldn't have. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have the death card here. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but there's change and transformation headed your way. Okay, so you have that here twice. So you have the death card clarifying this card right here. Okay, right before I even ask the question. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Will of Fortune. Yeah, okay. For some of you, this person wants a family with you, right? It's like, okay, let me just say this. For some of you, I feel like this person, you already have a family with them. And they're trying to put this family unit back together. OK, because they know it was their fault that it fell apart. And then for others, this person sees you as someone that they can have longevity with. They see you as someone they can grow with. And with this Wheel of Fortune, I see that there's going to be a turning point here. 
um, with the lover's card, there's a decision that will be made. Okay. I feel like this person is definitely going to make a decision to come in and try to do the right thing. But I don't think that you trust this person anymore. I feel like they've done too much. And you don't know how to feel about the situation, Negro. For some of you, I'm picking up the energy that you want this person to act more like either a wife or a husband. Or you want them to act like they want this connection. And they want it. They want to move forward with you with this chariot card. But I'm picking up the energy that someone may not be financially stable. And that's not for everyone. But I'm picking up the energy that this person knows that they need to step up to the plate. They see you doing big things. And I feel like this person is stagnant. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What messages do you have for Libras? Did that card just fly all the way behind my table? <laughs> okay, give me a minute. Um, let me get this card for you guys. I'm sorry. It flew all the way behind the table. I wonder what it is. Sorry about that. Okay. Like, it flipped all the way in the back. Like, all the way down here. I don't know if you guys seen that, but... I was like, what in the foolishness? All right. The five, of, <laughs> the five of cups. So somebody is in heavy regret. Maybe they didn't want you to know they were in regret. So when this card came out and I was shuffling, it flipped all the way back here behind the, um, the lamps, salt lamps. But you have the five of cups and the ace of pentacles, okay? So some of you are dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. Um, and you and this person may have had um, an argument or it's just like you're not on good terms right now, but this person is feeling very regretful because it's something that they did, something that they said, and they're sort of kicking themselves for either saying it or whatever they've done, or maybe it was like this was the last straw. I'm picking up for some of you. Something happened here, right? But you're, sorry about that. I kicked the camera. Um, Something happened here, but you're looking at the situation like, this is the last straw. I can't deal with anything else from you. And it's like, now you're ready to walk away. And now they're ready to come with the Ace of Pentacles. They're ready to come with this fresh start, this new beginning, feeling like um, they can have longevity with you. Okay, like you guys could have something long term. That's how they're looking at the situation. But you're no longer looking at it like that. Because you know that this person was keeping secrets. They were hiding something from you with this moon card. So maybe you could have been dealing with the Pisces. Also, for um, others of you, I feel like this person had options and they were moving too slow. You see that turtle there in the corner? Like, that's an indication that this person was coming towards you very, very slow. Um, not wanting to commit because they had other options that they were thinking about or another option. Okay, but they had someone else that they were dealing with. Okay. So we have the four of swords here. So someone, it's like they're thinking about you so much that they can't really sleep good at night. I feel like um, they feel really, you see how this person is laying out in the snow? It's like they feel like things are really cold between the two of you. It's like they can't reach you. It's like they can reach, it's like they know how to reach you. Like they know they can text you. They know they can call you, but they don't know how to reach you personally. Like, what are they going to say to you? Okay. What can they do to make this right or make it better? I just feel like they, um, they feel out of sorts. Whoever you're dealing with, your person feels out of sorts. Let's ask Spirit, what is your person feeling and thinking? Spirit, what is Libra's person feeling and thinking? Okay. So that card wanted to flip out. So we have the Justice and the King of Wands. Like I said, some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this person wants justice. Okay, they want you back. They want to balance out the situation. For some of you also, um, you may be dealing with someone who has like a court case or something that's pending. And they want you to be there for them. And they feel like they don't have anyone. You're the only person that they can count on. Spirit, what is, I can't even, 
ask the question before these cards start flying out of the deck. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel like this person is going to work hard to get you back. And like I said, for some of you, this person may have financial issues. And they're working on trying to build something to come towards you. Spirit, what is Libra's person feeling and thinking? What do they want them to know? Something wanted to pop out. Okay. The Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is afraid to come towards you. Or they're just moving extremely slow. But when they come, they've been working on something here. With this Eight of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Because we have Taurus here. And we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy. Right? It's like they want to bring you something stable. That's what they're working on. And I feel like this person doesn't feel... For some of you, this person, they don't feel like they can come towards you until they have something to offer. And for others of you, you're dealing with an earth sign and you you want to come towards them with a stable offer, but you're in a situation that you feel like you can't get out of. For some of you, it could be a commitment with the Hierophant. You're committed. Some of you are committed elsewhere to another situation and you want to go towards an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. And you know that you and this person can get along like really well. You can move forward. You can have a family. Um, you can be stable and grounded. But it's like you have to leave another situation first in order to do so. I feel like this person is waiting on you though, Libra. So if this is you that's feeling this way and you're dealing with an earth sign, this person is waiting for you. Or it's like they're not, I don't want to say waiting but they still hold a place for you in their heart put it that way i don't feel like this person is just sitting around waiting on you to come in but i mean it could be but that's not going to be for everyone spirit what does libra's person want them to know what is libra's person feeling and thinking okay so these cars want to fly out the deck so we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Five of Swords. So I feel like someone was being very manipulative in the past, just wanting to win at all costs, you know, not thinking about your feelings. And now that you're ready to walk away, here they come as the Page of Pentacles wanting to give you an offer. And now you're not buying it. Okay, so I feel like some of you are not buying it. Um, it's like you're going to make this person work for it. Which I don't blame you here. Something turned over in this deck. I just saw it. I don't know where it went. Wait. Oh, here it is. There it is. The Emperor. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay. Or someone who wants to be in control. But I feel like this person wants to control this relationship or this marriage or friendship, whatever it is for you, Libras. But it's like they're doing it the wrong way. And I feel like this person is pushing you away instead of bringing you closer to them. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What does their person want them to know? Spirit, what does Libra's person want them to know? I was about to say that's too many, but it's three. I'll take it. Okay, so your person wants you to know that they want to compromise with you they want to work this out with the three of pentacles the king of pentacles and the eight of swords but they don't know how they're stuck in their head they're confused they don't know how to come towards you some of you are dealing with somebody who is extremely stubborn you see that bull sitting behind this person and there's fire this person has a blindfold on their arms are tied up their legs are tied up i feel like this person is in a mental prison um that they've created Okay, because they're overthinking this situation. You know what I'm also picking up on, Libra, is that this person feels like they have to have a lot of money to come towards you. They may look at your home, your car, you know, clothes that you wear, how you keep yourself up, and they feel like they don't measure up or they don't have enough to offer you. So they have to be the king of pentacles when they come towards you in order for you to respect them or look at them in a good light. Okay, so someone is trying to like get their money up. Like I saw that back here. Let me see if I can go back a couple of cards here. All right, so yeah, this is where I saw that. All right, so we have this Eight of Pentacles. And 
and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like somebody wants to bring you stability. It's like they don't feel like they have enough for you. And they could be dealing with someone else that has less than you. And it sort of makes them feel good about themselves because they don't have to... Um, I feel like if you're in a if this person has you in a third party situation, it's like they're dealing with someone who doesn't measure up to you. Okay? This person cannot hold a candle to you, but it doesn't screw with their ego because this person doesn't the other person doesn't have anything. I feel like you inseminate this person and it like messes with their ego because they feel like they have to be a certain way or have a certain amount of money to keep up with you. Okay, it's like you you may be like light years ahead of this person and it's like you're trying to push them to be better or to make more money or to go to school just to be more ambitious. And I feel like that's what they're trying to do, but they're moving too slow. You feel like this person is moving too slow with this Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like um, you're ready to walk away from this situation, but I feel like this person is going to try to stop you. I mean, not physically, but... You know, just coming in, wanting to talk, have, wanting to sort of fix situ the situation with you. Okay, yeah. Ooh, what did I just say? And this slid right out of the deck. The Knight of Swords and the Judgment. Right when I say this person is going to come in and try to stop you. They are. They want a second chance. They want to fix this. They want to make it right. I know you're like, no, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> like, seriously, though. But, I mean, you know, I got to discuss what comes out of the deck, Libras. And I know you may not want this person back and you may not want to hear that they're coming towards you, but they are. For some of you, it's an, um, another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have judgment here as well. I just feel like this person is, somebody is really upset. They're depressed. They could be crying, thinking they've lost you for good because like I said, they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. See, you may be thinking that this person is not coming towards you because they don't love you, but I don't feel like that's it. For some of you, I'm seeing two storylines here. For some of you, I'm seeing that this person is in a situation that they're not happy in, but they feel like it's hard to get out of because they're obligated in some way to stay with this person. It could be that they have a family with them, they have children, and there's some sort of history between them and this other person. And then for others of you, this person is not coming towards you because they don't feel like they measure up. They don't feel like they have enough to offer you. They feel like they need to prepare to come towards you or get their money up or be like this, the king of pentacles in order for you to respect them. I just feel like this person is just used to dealing with people that don't have a lot. And then here you come and you already have your shit together. And they're like, well, wait, like, you know, this person is not impressed by me. It's going to take more to impress you. So I feel like that's what they're, that's what some of you are definitely going through. But like I said, with the Knight of Swords, the judgment, this person is not going to let you leave easily. It's like they're going to fight for this connection is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so expect for someone to be reaching out to you. Um, to tell you that they still want this, that they're going to try to work and get themselves together. And this may be part of the change that's coming in. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.